Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we have the privilege to be joined by Steve from GOM. Now, Steve really looking to review the Atos scan box um, and well, welcome to the Technical Corner. Thank you for having us, Jim. <laughs> now, Steve, for our audience that may not be familiar about GOM or the Atos scan box, can you tell our audience about the Atos scan box, please? So the scan box is our automated solution for quality control of uh, inspection of production parts, but also uh, production processes too. It's a complete solution, a standard solution, and it's an all-in-one solution. So it takes care of the programming. So this is the robot position, the acquisition. So this is the sensor scanning and also the evaluation. So this is the inspection and reporting. So it's a complete um, metrology process. It's yes. taking care of, of everything. Now, mm -hmm. what kind of, you know, from when I was an apprentice, you know, I used CNMs and, and traditional inspection methods. This mm -hmm. has really changed a lot. Mm -hmm. What ad main advantages would your clients expect to see from using the Atos scan box? Well, the main advantage is usually and always speed. Uh, there are others, but speed is the main driver. There's an obviously a cost benefit to the customer. Um, so from those traditional methods you mentioned, CMMs, we can see it varies depending on the part, but anywhere between 50 and 80 percent uh, improvement in cycle times is not untypical. I mean, 50 to 80 percent mm -hmm. is is phenomenal, really. You know, what kind of applications or parts would you be confident of achieving them kind of results on? What does it lend itself to? So there's a wide range of parts. They are standard, but they come standard in different sh shapes and sizes. So to suit a, a wide range of parts. So because we're working optically, we can have a small measuring volume or a very large measuring volume, as you can do with a a camera so small parts and a good example a core application for us is turbine blades customers obviously manufacture these in big numbers so they want to do it quickly or even very large parts such as full car bodies so a big one of our largest scan boxes a six meter long uh, system that would house a full car body so would it be safe to say irregular shaped parts so yeah our our main advantage is the ability to measure freeform shapes Definitely. So cast parts, sheet metal parts, where, yeah, we capture everything in one in one shot or a, a series of shots. And before we move on to the automation mm -hmm. side of the, the Atos scan box, mm -hmm. can you tell us about the rich reporting that you mentioned and how this works and how this will benefit the end user? So because we're capturing the whole part, the, the scan data can literally be the whole part itself, we can overlay that onto the CAD model and then report the difference, the deviation if you like. So this can be a colour map, we call it a very rich report, rich in the sense that it's got a lot of information there. You know, each one of our sensors can capture 12 million points in one scan. So a few scans around that point, you could part, you can have a million, you know, millions of scans. So it's very easy to visualise, not just from a trained inspector, but even just sharing it with people. You can easily visualise the deviation across the whole of the part and understand what processes need to be changed in the manufacturing previously. So it's ultimately benefiting the manufacturing process completely, the, the complete process. Yeah, it's not just about final inspection of a part, it is inspection of that part during the process and potentially capturing if there's a problem with that part or a problem with the process, capturing that at the right time before there's any added value of further processes down the line, for instance, from a cast part to a machine part. So creating a stable process. Now, Steve, mm. we're moving on now to the automation side. We're going to bring up a new video. You mentioned mm -hmm. components in high volume. Mm -hmm. So how do, you con how do you inspect components in high volume, such as this turbine blade? Yeah, well, turbine blades, as I've said, we see factories in the UK manufacturing numbers of 200,000 per year. Um, so the challenge there, we can measure a turbine blade typically in two to three minutes, that kind of range. Uh, but obviously they're in big volume. So an operator potentially loading a part on every two or three minutes is not ideal. So the challenge there and the driver that they gave, gave, came to us with that they want to automate the loading process again. So this is considering the operator time. So multiple parts, multiple turbine blades can be loaded into the handling system, um, which you know you can get 100 or so parts in there that could run that scan box for say up to 10, 11 hours. So no operator would need to go to that scan box until all those that batch of blades is uh, is complete. And this is called our BPS or our batch processing, processing system. Steve, I can really see some advantages of this because I'm assuming, you know, if, if you're manufacturing these parts in very high volume, the last thing that you would want is a big backlog of these parts waiting to go through inspection. You know, the, the flow of the parts going through the workshop 
it must be a, a massive benefit. Yeah, and that was always the challenge set to us from these kind of customers. We can scan the parts quickly, but there's always that consideration of getting the parts to and from the the, the scan box. So yeah, um, the, the, we needed to make sure we take care not just of the inspection, but also the handling. And the the aerospace industry is that a big sector for you guys at Gone? It is, yeah, and it's a very demanding customer. As you can imagine, these are safety critical parts. So as well as um, being able to handle the parts quickly, we also need to make sure we maintain traceability for these kind of parts or some medical parts, anything that would have that needs to keep a digital twin or needs to trace its origin back. So within this system, every blade um, is traced with its own little R RCD, RFD chip, sorry, um, and that traces and reports for those individual blades um, it's, the traceability is all kept. I mean, it's absolutely critical, isn't it, traceability? Mm. Now, yeah. you know, say, for example, you wanted to present even more components to the scanner. Mm -hmm. You know, what solutions do you have for this to, to, to completely maximise your, your measuring envelope, if you like? Because it looks like you've got quite a big envelope there. Yeah, well, this was one solution to take care of the handling, but then you can also, because we're working optically and we can capture a large volume, depending on which volume we've, uh, which camera system we've set up, you can capture more than one component within one volume sometimes. So yeah, we can, we've can. we helped customers develop fixtures that can hold multiple blades. We've also got solutions that can handle um, two loading stations, again, with multiple parts on a fixture. And one when, when one of the stations is being unloaded, again, this is our standard scan box, uh, 6235. We can also be loading, measuring the other part while the other part's being loaded. So let's have a look unloaded. at some of these uh, fixtures, yeah. Steve. I think we've got a video on some of the fixtures that, 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 that you're describing. Mm. Yeah, so this is the 6235. So as you can see, just about over on the right there, one part is still being inspected. So there's no loss of uh, cycle time and the operator can quickly and easily load or unload the, the, the system on the other side. The robot can interchange between both cells. So safety's taken care of as well, whilst one uh, fixture is being unloaded, one part's being unloaded. And again, you can put multiple parts on these fixtures just to improve cycle time. And, and for turnkey packages such as this, you know, bespoke packages, how mm -hmm. do you work with your clients on these? It's very consultative, yeah. I mean, we, all work, we always work back from that desire to improve production speeds, cycle times. So then you can start to consider how many boxes they need, or, but, or also how many components could go, in, you know, like you say, into the one large volume. There's no reason that you can, in that size, which is a 500 millimeter measuring volume, you can't put multiple parts that are, are smaller than that. So you're not just selling an off-the-shelf solution, you're also offering bespoke solutions. The process, too. yeah. We work very consultatively with customers on that, and that's led to a lot of success. And we need to do this before point of sale sometimes for the development to, to prove the process. But yeah, once a customer's established with us, I mean, we've got customers that have got you know, many, many dozens of these systems doing this kind of application. So we're always helping them with new components. Steve, it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to learn about the Atos scan box. So for more information about the Atos scan box, contact GOM. Thank you.